Welcome back, fight fans. Up next, a featured professional bouts in the featherweight division as Doug Colbus takes on former NAAFS lightweight champion, Frank the Tank Carabello. Ladies and gentlemen, our next fight is brought to you by Discount Drug Marts, the official ticket outlet of the NAAFS, and also the distinguished Mr. John P. Lennon, who is in attendance tonight. And now, making his way to the John P. Lennon red corner, please welcome Doug Colbus. Well, here comes one of the fan favorites, former national champion, Doug Colbus, who was uh, known to be in a to have been in a few good fights. Absolutely, I mean, here he comes out with his vintage Spartan hat. I, absolutely, that mask, he's an absolute wild man. Comes out with his kilt. Who wouldn't love this guy? He's absolutely out of control. Comes out of Evolve MMA, MMA, two and two as a pro. He's a southpaw. Pun intended, his striking has really evolved. Um, Cause he's typically known as a ground guy and him and Rothhacker put on one hell of a show recently in their 145 pound oh, featherweight bout. What a memorable fight that was and I expect nothing different here tonight. Real quick, wanna take the opportunity to welcome a very special guest, the NAAFS Pro Series featherweight champion and UFC star, Donnie Eagle Eye Walker. Welcome my friend. Thanks for having me as always guys. And Donnie, Pleasure. you've made the transition in the UFC to bantamweight. How fun has that been? <laughs> it's going great, actually. Uh, I can't wait to actually, uh, after the UFC stint, you know, come back here and fight locally again the NWFS. How great is that, man? What a class act Donnie Walker is. Always a pleasure to have him call in this fight. And certainly this is your weight class of fight you've probably got your eye on, even though you've got bigger fish to fry in the near future. Exactly. I mean, I like 135, but I like 145 as well. And I actually know Doug Colbus pretty well, and the guy he's going against, so this ought to be a good fight. Oh, we can't wait, man. Can't wait to have you back. Can't wait to see you in the UFC. And now, making his way to the B3 Enterprises Blue Corner, please welcome his opponent, Frank Caraballo. And here comes the former NAAFS lightweight champion, Frank the Tank Caraballo, who has made the journey down 145 pounds. First time at 145, we're gonna see how this goes. Uh, Frank looks great, talked to him earlier. He, he feels wonderful. I think this may actually be a better weight class for him as a professional. And as we take a look at our Tim Lally Chevrolet tail of the tape, let's keep talking. You know, that's why I brought it up when Doug came out, Donnie. How difficult is that transition going down a weight class as a pro? Uh, I didn't think it was really that bad as long as you prepare for it. So Frank looks great and, um, you know, he uh, he's a, a little bit of a unknown Bellator uh, veteran. Bellator 5, I yes, believe, May is. 2009 over in, uh, in Dayton. Southwest, yeah, Dayton, yeah. Ohio. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is brought to you by Discount Drug Mart and John P. Lennon. It is your co-main event of the evening. This fight is scheduled for three five-minute rounds in the NAAFS Professional Series Featherweight Division. And now, introducing fighting out of our John P. Lennon Red Corner, this fighter's MMA record is nine and two. He stands five feet eight inches tall and weighed in at 144 and one half pounds, representing Evolve MMA and Rio Pro BJJ. Fighting out of Cleveland, Ohio, he is the 2009 NAAFS Amateur Series Featherweight National Champion, Doug Colbus. And now his opponent fighting out of our B3 Enterprises Blue Corner. This fighter's MMA record sits 14 wins with seven defeats, standing five feet seven inches tall, weighing 145 pounds, representing fearless fight team. He is the former NAAFS Professional Series lightweight champion, fighting out of Cleveland, Ohio, Frank the Tank Carabolo.
Your referee is Jerry Chris. Boy, I gotta say, the eye contact between these two guys was something to see. Yeah, they were staring each other down. Wow. And I gotta say, for most of the fighters in here, I'm pretty, pretty neutral. I gotta tell you though, I love when the crowd starts doing Frank the Tank. <laughs> Frank the Tank. It's such a great, great atmosphere. It is. It really is. Um, both these guys have a big. Oh, oh man! And that is oh, 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 nice. oh Frank. my wow. God! Wow! Wow! Oh. Wow! Hello, Tim Lally Chevrolet finish of the night. Wow! Oh, my God! <laughs> Johnny Walker was here, by the way. Yeah. How come every time I'm uh, helping you guys on this, it's quick fights? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> and that's that's the strength of Frank Carabello. We've seen it time and time again. His hands are nasty. Well, Donnie, you had a chance to spar Frank the Tank uh, a couple weeks ago. It actually went exactly what I thought. His stand-up was going to win the fight. If it stayed standing, Doug called him and went to the ground. So... Wow, holy smoke, here's a look. Let's take, I mean, boom, bam. A left hook right on the button. Frank, you know what? He did the right thing, you're professionals, you gotta go to the referee stops, but boy, Colvis didn't know where he was the second that left hook connected. My goodness, and I think Frank Carabello's found a home at 145, you think? Um, well. Maybe we'll ask him at the post fight yes. interview. Oh my so goodness. you plan on moving back up to 55? <laughs> and uh, I mean, obviously, you know, Colbus' oh. credentials speak for themselves, but that's pitcher perfect. Wow. Donnie, your thoughts, my man. Uh, what can I say? That was a perfect knockout and uh, good for uh, Frank the Tank. That was awesome. Well, let's send it up to Jazz and make this one official. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight comes to an end at 11 seconds of round number one. Officially, we have a knockout. Your winner, Frank the Tank Carabao. I'm standing here with your winner, Frank the Tank Carabello moves up to 15 and seven. I think I know the answer to this question, but I'll ask it anyway. Have you found a home at 145? Yeah, this is the best I ever felt. Even cutting down to 155, I felt worse. So I feel real good, real loose, real fast, real strong. Is there something in video that you saw? Or did you just throw that right straight and left hook? Because, man, that hit right on the button, and then you went to work. Well, me and Ed, we've been going over that week after week after week, and we've been training hard. And that's what happens when you train hard. You lay people out. That was a beautiful, beautiful left hook. You did what you had to do after that, followed it up. Anybody you'd like to thank? I'd like to, like to thank my sponsors, uh, Stalker Fight, uh, KOBC, uh, all my teammates that helped me train. All the fans that came here to support me and uh, the NFLFS, thank you. Well, I told Greg during the broadcast I'm very neutral when it comes to calling these fights, but I do love hearing the crowd chant Frank the Tank. So hopefully we'll see you back here soon. We can hear that if the fight lasts a little longer. Give it up for your winner, Frank the Tank Carabello! More NAAFS cage fighting coming right up.